this is about soldering. We have solder and blocks. Solder and blocks are used with a soldering iron to join two materials together. The flux dioxides the surface of the material to be soldered so that the solder can penetrate the pores of the material. In electronic work, a resin flux is always used while acid flux should never be used in electronic circuit as the acid will corrode the joint and build up an oxide that will prevent electrical flow through the connections. The types of solder grade used in soldering. Number one is 60-40, 60% 60% 40% lead. This is prepared in electronic work. Number two is 50-50, 50% 50% and 50% lead. Number three is 40-60, 40% 40% and 60% lead. Advantages of 60-40 solder grid. It melts at lowest temperature. It hardens easily. It is easier to do soldering job. Then we have factors to achieve good soldering. Number one, cleanliness. It is the first thing to consider in soldering. Number two is heat. Varying a small amount of heat is required for different types of work. Number three is flux and solder. Flux and solder comes as one. As 6040 resin core solder is best in electronic work. Good technique. Good soldering technique can be achieved by good practice. Don'ts in soldering. Do not melt the solder in the soldering iron. Do not keep the soldering iron on the joint too long. As soon as the solder flows, remove the soldering tool and allow the joint to cool. Do not be tempted to wiggle to apply air pressure to the joint until it is completely cold. Typical inferior solder connections. Number one, solder picking. Characterized by a sharp point of solder protruding from the connection. Picking is caused by the rapid removal of the heat before the entire joint has had the opportunity to completely reach its soldering temperature. Number two, incomplete weighting. Of course, when portions of the soldered connections have not been alloyed with solder and are completely visible, this may be the result of both insufficient heat and solder. Number three, excessive solder. Even when the lead contour is not plainly visible. Number four, cold solder joint. A connection that easily detected by its dull gray, greeny appearance or as a cluster of solder that are not properly within all the surfaces. Number five, resin joint. A joint in which a layer of flux residue is formed between the terminal pad and the solder. Since flux is an insulator, this condition could result in electrical discontinuity between leads and the terminal pad. Resin joint are the result of short heating time. Number six, fractured joint. Characterized by the appearance of minute cracks in the solder. The cracks appear if the lead is moved before the solder has had an opportunity of completely solidifying. Number seven, porous joint. Characterized by pinhole imperfections visible in the surface of the solder which is due to trap gases causes by insufficient heating time, a period required to allow volatizing flux to escape. Thank you for watching and God bless.